Hey, it's Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com and today I wanted to share with you 11 ways you can add some French country character to your kitchen without breaking the bank. So let's dive right in. The first one is think about using an armoire to store your china or as your pantry. You could find one really easily on Facebook Marketplace or maybe if you're lucky at a yard sale, definitely at consignment shops and antique shops and thrift shops. Either get one the right shape and the right color or get one that's the right shape and just paint it. Uh, uh, and then you can use it to st as your pantry. I if you've got the space would be so cool. Number two. <laughs> thick bubbly glassware like from the south of France so there's a company La Rochere and they have sold glass all over like at Target and Sur La Table you can really easily find that glassware with the bees on it I have it I love it it's really thick and sturdy these things like never break and so it's great for kids and to have that French look at the same time but any kind of thick glassware like you can look for it anywhere i'm thinking like pier one and world market too or just when you're out thrifting that would add a real french country feel to your kitchen number three copper molds i have a couple of copper molds hung up in my kitchen and i actually have a trove of them that were gifted to me recently and so i'm about to have a lot more and copper just always adds a French country look because in the olden days, everyone was cooking with copper and they would hang up their beautiful copper pots. So if you have copper pots to display, that would have the same effect as well. Number four, ruffly dishes. So nothing says French farmhouse to me like a dish with a scalloped edge. I have several, I've got one from Emile Henry, actually a couple. That's a real French pottery manufacturer. I wish I had tons more, they're beautiful. And then I've got this French country platter and this other platter that's a, just a vintage platter, it's very beautiful, but something about that scalloped edge or ruffly edge as I like to call it, just gives a French country feel. Number five, instead of a kitchen island or in addition to a kitchen island, whatever, or countertops, a farmhouse work table that is so french if you can find a real farmhouse table with a nice clean top you could paint the legs and have the top scrubbed clean for a work surface that would look beautiful i have an approximation of a work table that has a granite countertop just because it's easier to clean than wood to be honest i see harvest tables advertised on facebook marketplace a lot like old harvest tables i think they would look amazing in a kitchen if you could find one that was the right uh, shape for your space. I saw one the other day and I'll try to put up the picture if it's still available. That was like eight feet long or something. I mean, just beautiful. So these things are out there. Okay. Number six, a baguette holder. So you can get these online. They're just cloth. I mean, I guess you could sew one yourself too, but I found them online. And it's like you go down to the bread shop and put your baguette in that and bring it home. But in the meantime, you could hang it up in your kitchen as a decoration. You could have the baguette in it, just hanging there on the wall. Or you could have the empty baguette holder when you're you know, in between runs to the store, hanging there. And I think that would add a certain French look and flair as well. Number seven, put some framed art in your kitchen and beautiful things like a beautiful, print that you have not just not just like kitcheny art but like real art i have this van gogh poster I just painted the frame and i put it in there i also have a watercolor that my great aunt did and i would love to get even more fine art in my kitchen who cares that it's the kitchen you're in there so much like why not put some of your most beautiful and best pieces in there so you can look at them and enjoy them number eight baskets for storage so always be on the lookout for baskets you at thrift stores and antique shops 
I find that they're absolutely everywhere. And in my opinion, the bigger, the better. I have the, I have a really nice big one where I keep all my dish towels and dish rags. And I have another really big one where I store my onions and potatoes and garlic. And it's not only has that beautiful rustic charm, but it is actually really useful for storage. And it's a very inexpensive storage solution. I think each of those baskets was just a few dollars at an auction and a, a yard sale. Number nine, instead of having cupboard doors, use a curtain or just put a curtain up in front of something that you wanna cover. I have a curtain around the pipes under my sink and then I have curtains on some shelving in my laundry room where I guess we could have put doors if we wanted, but I just made a pleated curtain that detaches with Velcro. I have a tutorial about how I did that and I will link that below. I also made curtains that go on a little curtain rod for my pantry and I don't have a tutorial for that, but it's very simple to do and it just adds a really French old world look to have a curtain covering a space like that. Number 10, think about putting a French looking chair or two in your kitchen to sit on, like an armchair. Um, we have a chair tucked into the corner of our kitchen. It's not really a French shape, but you could look for a chair with a French shape and just think, do I have like a little corner where I could tuck this in my kitchen? And it's you would be surprised how nice it is to have a softer chair in the kitchen. It just it makes it really inviting and it doesn't cost very much. And finally, number 11, think about doing some unkitchen lighting in your kitchen. So instead of the can lights and the kitchen looking pendants, think of maybe a chandelier, like some of these from these old chateaux. I hope that you found some good inspiration in these 11 ways that you could add some French country charm to your kitchen without breaking the bank. Please leave a comment below if you have other ideas for adding French charm to your kitchen on a thrift store budget. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more inspirational videos about adding European country charm to your home on a thrift store budget. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com and I will see you in the next video. Bye.